World Cookery. This almost looks like an actual program. Fucking bastard. Can't hurt my feelings. Court is in session. Sandro, you stand accused of cooking awful desserts, vagrancy, general abominations to humanity. Piss off. You shall be judged. But not before some delicious porridge. Sounds delightful. Ah! Hey, white lives matter, you know. But not much, so instead let's campaign for a feast of porridge, pork souffle, and every prisoner's favourite chocolate brownies. But first... I demand justice! And with the fire raging like Paul's loins, it was time for a maniac cop to get killing the starter. I'm making a fully nutrition-free porridge. It's too fucking good for them, really. By mixing wet oats into a pan of warm water, Paul displayed less effort than blowjob cleanup executive Shia LaBeouf making films. I'll never make detective. It wouldn't take a detective to complete the next task though. Finding semen. Like Finding Nemo, only different. No, no semen here. Don't give up yet, Paul. Ugh, dirty fucker. I bet that's not all, though. Ugh. Guilty. That's prison. Disgusted yet dedicated, and soon to be filled with porridge. Order! Not to be confused with the semen from earlier, what is it? Delicious porridge. Judge Chico clearly couldn't get enough delicious porridge. But how do you think the prisoner enjoyed his? With a healthy sprinkling of persistence. What's the verdict then, pig? Basic sustenance. Keeps the prisoners alive. But slows them down as well. Totally void of flavour. It's, hor it's horrible. I, I, I wish I hadn't done the crimes. Fueled by remorse and probably more semen, the two sides of the law bonded. Meanwhile, Chico began the day's main course. It's time to make the pork souffle. Chico warmed milk and thyme very quickly, before adding butter to a separate pan along with flour. Now it's time to put the milk in with this. In small splashes, the milk was added to the flour and butter to create some kind of fucking paste. Followed swiftly by everyone's favourite... Onion time! Diced onions and bacon were then fried in a separate pan, which I can totally prove. See? While cheese out of a goat was added to the sauce. Next, two more bowls were enlisted as the master pan shuffler separated the yolks from the whites before beating the yolks and adding them to the sauce. With the thing masquerading as an oven on preheat, Chico whipped the whites up into a frenzy. Look. You want to get it so stiff that it won't come out if you do this, and then it's ready. Pop the bacon in. With all the complicated shit mixed up, it was poured into little things which have a name before being popped in the oven. <laughs> Lockdown! Sad emoji. Not for you though, you're on vegetable duty, convict! Peel it, you shit! Good luck shanking your celly with that thing, whatever that means. Gillette! The best a man can get! Ooh. Ooh, indeed. Like the sound my cock makes looking at nature. Oh. Domino, motherfucker! <laughs> Woo! Oh, not again! 
Hey, we'll have less of that fun. Souffle! I bet they're a normal temperature. Ah! No. Souffle. And not completely fucked either. Paul Kerry there. A man with no safe word. It's light, fluffy, airy. A lovely, delicate texture, that. Better than prison souffles. And I don't even know that prison souffle is a euphemism for something horrendous. Washed down with the blood of Christ in a rare triumph of a dish, it was safe to say the souffle was not shit. In fact, the souffle was so delicious that Alessandro began to rethink the remorse he showed earlier. Much to the fury of Officer Paul. I did it on purpose, and I'm not sorry. Blow! 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 Point one one. Significant impairment. Probably not thinking straight. Blow time. Point two O. Oh. If injured, may not feel pain. Blackouts are likely. Sadly, no amount of blackouts would ease the pain of dessert, though. In prison, the arsehole is nature's pocket. And that's where I got this chocolate from. Left to melt over steaming water, Sandro weighed his ingredients. Sugar! Why did it taste so good? Number one! White sugar! Cream it harder! Despite such official motivation, Paul was less than impressed with Alessandro's results and told him to. You think that's creamed? You think you're in here to cream? Sandro added flour to his poorly creamed mixture, along with cocoa powder for a more chocolatey feel, like the enforced anal sex he's become so accustomed to. Then a dash of whiskey went in to wash away the shame, along with the melted ass chocolate from earlier, resulting in this. Ready for the oven now? There we have it, prison brownies. Solitary. I know how that is. Hot, alone, hungry. Not for long though. Let's eat, boys. Could it be an actual dessert from Alessandro? That'll be nice. Maybe. The massive blackened house brick was eaten in the old way, by hand, with no garnishings, because I accidentally kicked over all the cream like a fucking club-footed ogre. So, how was it? I'll tell you how this was. Look at that. Idiot. I think it's alright, you know, it's sweet, chocolatey, it is a little bit on the dry side. I think it was, um, Above standard, good brownie. It's a little bit dry. Too dry, prompting Paul to dispose of his like evidence of racial profiling. In the case of Alessandro though, the evidence was all too clear. You have been found guilty of everything. And I sentence you to death by stoning. Does the prisoner have any last words? Bothered. Guilty, guilty, you guilty shit. <laughs> you fucking did it, didn't you? Guilty, guilty, fucking guilty. Uh, dead. Justice.